Frank, founder of Eva Reduction and the author of the do-it-yourself lifestyle book, Living Simple, Free, and Happy. Today I'm going to show you how to braid a paracord snake, which is something I've been doing since my days at summer camp. To get started, you'll need two pieces of 40-inch snake-colored paracord. This can be green or brown or camouflage like I'm using. And I got this cord at a sporting goods store. Remember, anytime you cut cord, you need to singe the ends with a lighter or they'll fray. You'll also need a contrasting cord color for the snake's tongue, like red or pink, which I bought at a hardware store. The tongue cord only needs to be about seven inches. So make a knot using one of the long cords and the tongue cord. And since the long cord will be looped, it allows you to have a loop where you can actually put a little gadget on the end for making it into a bracelet. And I actually put a pin there too, just to hold it down for the purposes of braiding this paracord snake. Now we're gonna take the other piece of 40 inch paracord and place it under what I'm gonna call the body of the snake. You're going to make something that's gonna look like a sailboat sail, crossing over the body of the snake. The, on the other side is what I'm gonna call an arm. You're gonna place that arm on top of the sail. This arm is gonna thread underneath the body and come up through the sail. Flip it over, pull it through the sail, and then pull both sides evenly. Now, if you made your sail on one side, the next sail you make on the other side and you're gonna alternate back and forth. So make your sail, run the arm over the sail, and you can pick up the body and push that under and up through the sail. And then repeat again. I'm gonna continue with this technique until I have about two inches left of the pink cord. So as you can see, I continued looping for about 12 knots, and now we're gonna make the head part of the snake. To do this, you're actually going to start braiding in the opposite direction that you are going to do the body part. So leave whatever strings you have left over from the body, don't worry about those right now. Now you're gonna take what was the inside snake-colored cord, turn it around, and start making your knots going in the opposite direction. So make your sail, bring the arm over, and go through. So continue this technique until the head forms. At this point, you want to snip and singe any loose strings. And that's how you make your paracord snake. Did you know paracord has useful survival properties, like it can be used as a tourniquet? I'm Kristen Frank from Eve of Reduction, and I hope you've enjoyed this craft that's both fun and useful. Mm -hmm.